All right, hey, what is going on everybody? Ali here and welcome to another Friday figurine unboxing of a figurine that honestly, personally, I feel like that I paid a little too much for it because of the size and everything, but it is actually a Figma figurine. So, and and when, uh, if, if you know about like Figma figurines, they're actually pretty expensive and they're a little smaller than other like figurines and stuff. And uh, yeah, this one is actually the Figma Racing Miku 2013 action figure. I believe uh, 2013 EV Mirai version Racing Miku of uh, 2013. I got this like four or five years ago. So uh, yeah, I've been holding on to it for a while uh, because just because of uh, Figma figurines, I, I was kind of nervous to actually unbox her. But um, I also have the EX Ride Figma Racing Miku motorcycle, so that's pretty hype. It looks really awesome. So I'm gonna unbox actually both of these. Again, I, every once in a while I might be buying a Figma figurine, but definitely not often because both of these total, I'm gonna tell you the price. About 160, 170 bucks, and this Racing Miku is like, I don't even think it's, like, it's, like, five inches tall. It's, like, five or six inches tall. It's really tiny. And, uh, this really awesome, uh, motorcycle, this, uh, Figma motorcycle EX ride one, um, total, it's, like, around 160 or something like that. I think that's way over top, like, expensive, but I wanted to get it because it was actually a limited, uh, Actually, the it was, the motorcycle was actually uh, a limited, so I wanted to get it, and I also wanted to get uh, this Racing Miku 2013 Figma figurine from Good Smile Racing slash EX Ride. It's it still looks pretty awesome. You, you see, if you can see, there's like different like there's like a different face, a helmet. Um, you can replace her hand with like a drink or something. You can do like a lot of different positions uh, with this um, character. So. If you can see in the back, there you go. Different like uh, positions and stuff. You can put her on the motorcycle. Uh, her standing with the helmet and everything. I think you can put the helmet on her to make it look like it, like it's actually like her head. You can take her head off and just put the helmet there to make it look really cool. But anyways, yeah, let's get to unboxing. And I'm gonna try to put this um, this uh, camera at a different like angle just to like experiment on like different angles and stuff so anyways without further ado here we go all right so boom you got the figurine right here miku uh action or product number 233 very nice uh limited edition i believe and then you got the ex uh motorcycle ex ride um i believe that's all at ex ride uh double t13 uh good smile racing uh motorcycle that that goes with the figurine of Miku, but anyways, and also, bam, you see that? I also got this too at a convention, it's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Yeah, anyways, let's get to unboxing this one right here. Hopefully, since it was like that expensive, that it actually lives up to its, how much it was, because, oh boy. That was one, ex this is one expensive thing that I got. I don't know what I was thinking, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do when you have limited edition stuff that's floating around, you know? So, uh, yeah, here you go. I think you can actually, no, never mind. I thought you can actually open that up and just, and make it into like something like really cool. But, um, yeah, here is a bunch of like instructions or something, I guess, uh, you got it right there, bunch of instructions, uh, let me, tighten this up so it doesn't like move around all right there you go but um yeah since it's in Japanese I don't know what the hell it says so here let's put this to the side well actually I'm gonna open it and see what's inside or something oh okay so there's like a bunch of stickers bunch of stickers I believe so I'll put these on like later or something I don't know if I want to put any stickers on it it's it looks badass like it is right like it is already, so. I'm gonna unbox this uh, after I unbox Miku, so without further ado, let's unbox Miku now. Let me get some sharp up in here. Let's see if this works. This is not working. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Now we can 
slice it open just a little bit. And there we go. I'll leave it. Yep, there we go. It's open. Now let's check this girl out. Ooh, all right. Here we go. Put those to the side. And then bring it up this one here. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie. See here, you got her her little uh, hand with has the Good Smile Company uh, logo on it. If you can see it, if it's like I don't, think, I don't know if you can see it or not, but boom, there you go. It's like a little hand with a little bottle, and then you got a different kind of face. You can like change it up if you'd like. You got her helmet. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's what I thought. Like you can actually. Um, take her head off and put this helmet on and then put her on the motorcycle makes it look like she's racing and everything cat ear looking helmet pretty sweet pretty awesome and then you got the figurine herself it's pretty solid nothing nothing wrong with any of her paint like paint job or anything you can like turn her arms you can switch them up you can turn her around and everything you can bait you can bend it every every single position you can move her in like a bunch of different positions and stuff see like her hand is sticking out it's pretty nice i like the hair because it's like it goes from blue to translucent it's really cool looking it's pretty it's pretty nice very flexible like every single like limb is able you can move it like even the feet too like you can move the feet uh, the knees you can like twist her torso like in like both like ways. It's weird But you can twist her wrist and twist twist her elbow and twist her uh, You can move her head up and down and stuff. You can move her twin tails. You can do that um, You can do a lot of different things. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I actually haven't had a figurine like this before so it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome to have it. And also you can like twist like the top of her legs. And these two are actually part of her her um her outfit. Like you can put it like in the middle right here. There's like a little hole there. Boom, see? Yeah, you like stick it in there and it's part of her jacket. Or you can have this like if she's jumping up. Like if you see like the middle one right here, you can do like the wide one so she's jumping up, or then she's like relaxing right here with the lower ones. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, let me let me fix this whole thing up first, and then I will show you guys fully what it looks like. And it gives you actually more di like different hands and stuff, the face instructions and everything. But uh, yeah, anyways, it's all in Japanese, but that's okay because I can just see the pictures, and I can just go from there. Oh, and before everything, here you go. You got the nice. This is a really, really cool looking motorcycle. It kind of reminds me of like Hot Wheels when I was a kid, like what I always used to like play with. But um, here you go, you got the really nice looking uh, motorcycle that you could buy with it. You don't have to, but I wanted to because it matches it exactly. So, I mean, why not, right? So, um, yeah, this one, it's, it's pretty nice. It's very light, too. It has pretty good detail with uh, what it looks like and what the motorcycle looks like. There you go. And now I'm just, I'm gonna put uh, Miku on top of it, like with her helmet and everything, so yeah. All right, so here you go. I fixed some stuff up. I replay, I uh, put the other face on her and everything. Again, you can like twist everything around and stuff. And the stand, it's to keep her like up, like the whole time, because um, I don't think it's, she's able to stay up uh, without it, but it's really cool. It's a really cool way to uh, you know You can position her in other ways and stuff have her arms up and everything stuff like that You can have her foot up like that a little bit You can have her arms up out like that like oh my gosh, you know, she's she's pretty cool It's pretty it's a pretty cool Miku figurine again a little small but, um, yeah, it, it, it took me a while to, like, get some of these things on. Like, there, there's a couple of things you need to put on the, uh, motorcycle. Um, again, here's the front of it. Here's the back. There you go. Get, like, a full look around. There you go. And boom. But, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, there's so many things that you can do with it. You can replace, uh, her head with the helmet if you'd like. You can replace this part of the jacket with this thing. You have like a bunch of different hands that you can put on her. You got like, again, you got like another face if you if you want to replace it. You can put, uh, again, like this drink in her hand if you'd like. You can replace this hand with the drink and everything. 
it's it's a lot of stuff that you have that you can do with actually this figurine and this motorcycle and stuff. You can put her in different positions and everything. Um, it's very cool. I give it an A plus just because it's good small company and it's like really good quality a sculpting job and everything. But even though I say A plus and everything, I would not get Figma figurines like very frequently unless you got like a lot of money and stuff. I would get them like on special occasions and things like that. I wouldn't get them like consistently for like say like unboxings that I do. I I won't be um getting much of these a lot. I, I won't be getting them like a lot. Only if like they're limited edition special edition kind of like this one. So um yeah. Anyways, that is it for this one. This is a really good figurine again, and um, yeah, like the video if you did, like the video if you like Miku and this figurine and stuff, comment down below on your thoughts of these uh, figurines, like the motorcycle and figurine, and subscribe to my channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, and theory discussion videos, and things like that. So gentlemen, stay classy, ladies, stay sassy, but most important to everybody, you gotta stay a little nasty, alright? So peace and love, and I'll see you all later with the next video, and I will just be doing some snippets of different positions that you can actually uh, put her in. So without further ado, it's time for a picture montage. Let's go.